Hey everybody, it's Bill Confidence, and what I'm gonna show you is the ultimate best-selling center mirror for UTVs. This center mirror can actually be used for side mirrors as well. It actually comes with only one mirror, okay? Now this mirror, as you can see the clamps, the way it's lined up, basically you're gonna get them just like this. They're all gonna be coming up, you know, nice and smashed. This is right here, the absolute minimal, which is actually 1.375 on the bar. That's where you're gonna go ahead and assemble it to. Um, you're gonna want to, you don't need these outer ones, by the way, if you're gonna do that. So you can literally just get it like this and you can just get it locked down. You can take this one, you can throw it right there to make it a little bit tighter if you want to, or you can use it in this one. It all depends on how you want to do it. This mirror that you're looking at right here, okay, is one of the best selling mirrors in the industry and it fits almost any single UTV. You could probably put them on some type of ATVs. You can even use them for golf carts if you'd like. This thing is not going to shatter on you. It's not going to give you any issues along the way at all. Um, what you need to know about it is how to install it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to install this mirror. Just so you know, this mirror is, uh, you know, four and a half wide by eight inches tall. Uh, you could use it this way. Uh, you could actually put it like facing downwards or upwards, depending on how you want to do it. Now, as you're gonna notice over here, I'm gonna open up these little uh, stuff right here so you can see how it goes. You're basically gonna put one washer. Uh, this is just to make sure that this thing, once you got it, so it's not flailing around. You can see it comes with very, very unique looking washers. These washers are actually kind of round, you can see. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna slip one into the bottom, right? And then you could either, and then you're gonna put, you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down this one down there. Okay, I'm just demonstrating purposes only, and then you're gonna get like a little something to hold it down nicely. But you wanna do it, you wanna do it right, you wanna hold it down really, really light. Okay, um, I mean really, really tight. And then you're gonna take this piece right here, the screws, you can screw it in from the top or the bottom, pretty much doesn't really, really not gonna make much of a difference. Um, once you got that into place, you'll see that the screw will come down over there. And then, uh, do not recommend you doing this by hand, you might wanna get like a tool or something, you know, uh, maybe an eyeglasses kit will do it, but uh, you can see it's, actually going in pretty pretty nice. So you're holding it down and you're tightening. So you can see it got a little tighter. It wasn't as you know flimsy before. But this thing will get super, super tight on you. Now how do you go ahead and install this? So now once you got that into place, you don't want to do it too tight that you can't move it unless you feel comfortable, you know, exactly which position you're going, where you're driving this thing. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and uninstall, you're gonna unscrew the top part off, and you notice how you have different types of washers. This is gonna be the bottom washer, okay? And this is gonna be your, just basically your plate that you're, that you're putting into, right? You're gonna, first of all, you're gonna put this, you're gonna first put this over the bar, right? So just like that, imagine this is your bar, you got this like, you know, tight, you wanna basically put it on, and you wanna basically, you got that flat washer on the bottom, you're gonna put it in, and then you're gonna use the one with that has that little like, a little cracked area over there so you can get like a nice tight mush. If you feel it's not tight enough, you can just bend it into shape if you feel like you want to adjust it a little bit. But there's really no need to. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna literally tie that sucker in, you know. You know, you don't need this piece. Uh, it just, you know, just to protect it from getting damaged when it's in the packaging in the middle so, you know, the screw doesn't get vegged so you can't put it on. But you can see, like, right now it's kind of loose because you haven't adjusted this other area yet, but you're gonna see this thing is gonna be so tight in place, it's gonna be like literally the best mirror you will ever have for a UTV. Just imagine that thing sitting right there like that. You can get it like this and use it on like, you can adjust it on a side pole like that and use it like this just like a side mirror. You can get it like side mirrors looking like that, however you want it. This thing is the ultimate best selling UTV mirror you will ever, ever find. Clear instruction manuals. It's got all the pieces straight in front of you. You got the other side for, for, I only installed one as you can see for the other side. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Go ahead and reach out to us, www.oxcourt.com.